So you want to open up the Coinbase app, sign in using the email address and password you just created. Then I'll ask you for a code which it will send to the uh, number that you signed up using. So put that code in and it will sign you in. And then you just want to finish the account setup. I've actually done it already, verify your info and then you'll have to add the payment method. Once you've verified your info, it might take, for me, it was like five minutes. It can be up to a few hours, but it usually gets verified very quickly. So add a payment method and then just follow the instructions. I went for credit card. Just link your card there, put the details in. It's not gonna take any money off you. This is where you're gonna cash out to. Once you've added the payment method uh, and done the uh, verify info, then you're good to go. And then the next step is going to be sending your funds from your Phantom wallet here to Coinbase and then cashing out to the card that you just added. So to cash out your honey, start by going to the Phantom wallet. So you should see your balance in the Phantom app. So in this case, 12 honey. Um, and what you wanna do in the bottom right, come to this little website symbol, this little tab down here. And then we want to uh, go to Jupiter. In my case, it's here at the top. If not, you can just type in here, Jupiter. It's the aggregator. Um, but for me, it's right here, so I'm just going to click on it. So we are going to need to connect the wallet. So hit the connect wallet button here. And then choose Phantom. If it doesn't come up, you can press more wallets. Um, and then just choose the one that says Phantom. So this one right here. So now your wallet is connected. You can swap Honey's USDC. So we want to actually, where it says you're paying here, you want to choose Honey. If it doesn't come up, you can search for it here, H-O-N-E-Y Honey. And it will show your balance there. And then we want to receive, so it's set to USDC. That is the one we need. If it doesn't come up, you automatically just type USDC. It's this blue circle here. Make sure it's uh, exactly this one. So the address is, you can see where it says USDC on the right there, EPJF and then DT1V. So um, just hit USDC. And then you will see where it says you're paying. It will show your balance. You can either say max or you can hit half, whatever you want to do. For this example, I'll just go max and then it's showing the dollar amount that you're gonna get. So 297 here. Just hit the swap button at the bottom. And then you might get a warning message like this. If you do, it's absolutely fine. We do trust Jupiter. Um, make sure it is this website, jup.ag. Um, and then at the bottom, we can hit confirm. So for me, that transaction just failed. It says slip is reached, which basically means that the rate changed because I was doing it quite slowly. So if that happens, don't worry. We can just try it again. Um, so just hit swap again. Confirm. So if you keep getting the um, failure, which I just did then, it's because uh, of something called slippage, which means the rate that you're getting when you're swapping is too far below what it's showing us here. So we can hit this little percentage button here um, and set a custom slippage rate. Um, so we can set it, for example, to 2%. And if that doesn't work, you can increase it to say 5%. So we hit swap. We hit confirm. And there we go. Now it's a swap success because we increased the slippage tolerance. So now you should be able to go back to this bottom left hand tab here, the main page. And you'll see the updated balance in a second if I just pull down the screen to refresh the page. There we go. Honey's gone. USDC is in its place. So the next step that we're going to do is send the USDC to our Coinbase account um, and then we're going to cash out. So to send our USDC to Coinbase, we want to open up the Coinbase app and then we want to go over here to receive. So for some reason for me, the default token is Polkadot. So we want to select here, type in USDC and then it's USDC coin. You'll get a message saying you can receive USDC on multiple networks. So we know that we're using the Solana network. So we need to send it over the Solana network. For every network, which is basically a blockchain, you have different addresses for the same coin. So this is the most important step. So right here where it says network Ethereum, we want to cl click this drop down 
and we need to select Solana. That is the most important step that you're going to do, because if you don't select Solana, you're going to have a different address, the one here. Let me switch back to Ethereum. You can see that my address finishes in 382, um, the address right here. Whereas if I go to Solana, totally different address. It's finishing KRM. If you send the funds from your Phantom wallet to the Ethereum address, you've lost those funds forever. You're never getting them back. So you need to make sure 100% you've selected the Solana address. So right here where it says USDC address and then brackets Solana, you know that's the right one. You've got Solana selected here. It says Solana here. That's the one that we want to go ahead and copy. And then go back to the Phantom app. Start off if you want to by sending a small amount. So go USD coin, click it here, press send, allow paste. And then we want to put the address in here. So we can paste it from the clipboard there. And then I'm just going to start with a small amount. The transaction fees are so small, it doesn't matter anyway. So I don't know, let's put $5 in and then press next, then press send. So it's sent and we should see a notification here. My balance was 1073. It should come through pretty quickly. So you'll see your main balance will go down according to that transaction. You can see the transaction list here. So sent $5, succeeded. It may just take a little while to show up in Coinbase. So there we go. Um, about a minute later, the balance is updated. So I'm now going to go ahead. Now I know that it's working. I'm going to send the rest and then we can cash out. So exactly as we did the last time, USD coin, click here, send paste from address, next, and then I'm just going to go max and send that. So if you go into my assets, you should now see the USD coin that came in. Um, so what you need to do now is convert this into pounds and then you can cash it out. So hit sell here in this tab sell as much as you want to sell now done so you're going to want to go into the my assets tab now you can select the pounds the british pounds and press cash out so i've got i think it was 35 pounds in there um we need a little bit to cover network fees as well so i'm just going to enter 34 to be safe because we can see look it's a 68 pence fee um i'm going to choose a different account actually and then preview cash out and then cash out now it's going to ask me for a uh, security code for my authenticator app because i've set that up on my coinbase account you can do the same if you want to otherwise here it's probably going to ask you for an email code or an sms code so i'll just put that in so i put that in it's now loading Request was sent. We can now go back to our account and we can see in the history section here, um, if you want to navigate there in the future, you go to my assets, pounds, and then there we go. I just got it into my Revolut account and you can see the history here. So that's it.